Hey guys, my name is Christian. Welcome to Mix It and Fix It. Today I'm going to show you the most transparent way to tune vocals using Repitch by Synchro Arts, but let's start off by listening to the finished result. Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Hanging on Alright, so I'm not really a fan of overly pitched vocals, but I'm also quite allergic to out of tune vocals. So Repitch has a couple of powerful tools that I'm going to go through here today to really fine tune the vocals in a very transparent way. If you like what you hear here today, you can use the affiliate links down below that will help you support me as a content creator, but you also get a nice discount. So just to be clear, I'm not really dissing any Autotune plugins like Autotune, but if you use Repitch this way, your Autotune plugin of your choice will just sound much more transparent and uh, better. So let's start off by listening to the raw vocals completely untuned. Like getting lost in the dark But somehow I keep on stumbling on Stumbling on Hanging on Alright, so it do doesn't sound too bad, but there's definitely a few notes that needs fixing. So you can use Repitch in two ways. You can either load it up the traditional way on the track, then you have to read in the track manually in real time. But if you have a DAW that supports ARA, you can just right click on the track and push edit and it will read in the track automatically in a few seconds. So. I've chosen the uh, E major scale here because, because the song is in E major. We are going to use the snap to scale function just so we get rid of the, the notes that aren't within the scale. And today I'm going to focus on the shaper tool, which is a very effective way of tuning vocals in a transparent way. But there are tools like most tuning plugins have, you know, draw tool. If you want to draw in notes, you can cut and put them into place manually. But let's start off by fo focusing on the shaper tool. So we'll solo the vocals and start off here and see what we have. Like getting lost in the dark. So not too bad here, but let's see what we can do with the shaper tool. So we put out markers within the note here in the end, and then we can adjust the actual drifting within the note. So in the end here, I become a little bit flat, and then I just push them into place here. And in the beginning, I'm a bit sharp. Let's move that down and just even out the performance as we go. You can also, of course, select a note, I'm a little bit flat, double click and it will put it into place automatically. If you cut out notes uh, manually, you can also you select two notes, you can take smooth selected notes by pushing M and then J to joined the selected note. So let's see what we have here. Like getting lost in the dark Like getting lost in the dark Let's move on to the next phrase here. But somehow I keep on stumbling on all right, so a little bit flat here in the beginning. Let's cut out that note. Select a 
select we'll smooth and join the notes we'll even out the performance and if you have notes here where i'm a little bit flat before i hit before i uh, get to the right note you can also try to smooth out that just to get a even result here So it's a combination of using your eyes and your ears, but I can simply just through experience see what I need to adjust here. But of course, you always need to listen. So let's see what we have here. But somehow I keep on stumbling on. But somehow I keep on stumbling on. And we'll move on to the loudest or highest notes here. Stumbling on. We'll even out the performance. See what we have here in the highest note. Let's see what we have here, on and off. Stumbling on. Stumbling on. Yeah, so sounds great. So in short here, use the, um, the shaper tool, put in different markers and even out the pitch performance and of course when you're done with this you can use whatever tuning plugin of your choice i tend to use auto tune i think it sounds good when the performance is great and you can just push it into even more into pitch if you like but i really feel that repitch is the most subtle and transparent tuner on the market if you use the shaper tool like i just did so yeah if you enjoy this kind of content, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys around.